Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Deluxe Snow Job. And as you can see, it comes in that typical eco-friendly packaging with some amazing artwork on the package. And it has that little QR code that you could scan if you want to see what he's good at. But Snow Job is number 67 of the classified line. But let's go ahead and get Snow Job out of the box. Straight out of the package, Snow Job, he comes with, just like all the other Joes, with a pair of trigger finger hands. He's got the hood up, and he has the head with like this wrap, almost like a swim cap. I don't even know what it's called, but it's some sort of thermal protection for the super, super cold temperatures. And uh, the figure does look pretty awesome straight out of the package. Now, for anybody else that was impressed with the Arctic Bat visor, you know, how it's polarized everything, we get a really cool style of goggles that do the same thing. I think they do them a little bit better when it comes to Snow Job's goggles, but they look really nice. Got the black paint around them, looking nice, and then it's the brown strap, but just a really impressive set of goggles. Here we have Snow Job wearing the goggles with the head and hood up. That came equipped on the figure straight out of the package and it looks really good when it comes to the empty hood and the head with the goggles you're just going to want to put it in this way and sort of work its way in there make sure it doesn't shift the goggles too much make sure it looks good take your body there you go Snow Job does come with a extra head sculpt without his hood up and without his little balaclava type of thermal hood being on. And uh, it looks really good. The beard looks good. The hair looks really good. It's a red, brighter plastic, but they have a dark wash over it that makes it just look really nice. Head sculpt on this is really good. The, the hood being down looks really nice too. And I like how they actually designed it. Um, you can't even really tell, but like when you pop the head off... And you pop this, you can see it sort of like, it has like a cutout a little bit. And then right here on the bottom of the hood, sort of clips in. So it's not like a crappy Storm Shadow hood. It actually keys in, just like so. Here we got the hood down with the other head and the goggles on. Now the goggles don't fit on the other head, so don't even try or else you're going to stretch it out. Um, the goggles were designed for this head. One thing you're going to notice that Snow Job comes with is a backpack. This is a hefty bag. Has tons of sculpt work and texture. Definitely, you know, add a wash to it to make some of that stuff pop. But you can still see all the sculpt work and it looks awesome. We got some holsters on the side. This will be for the skis. We got some clips for the ski poles. Just really well done. You got the hole in the top to hold the rifle because it's a whole rifle case. You can't tell it's a rifle case that's in the center the backpack sort of strapped to it and then we got spots at the bottom to hold the snowshoes but this is just it's awesome now you know snow job's going to come with some snow gear and we got a pair of skis and they look really good they're in this like matte black plastic got the uh, pegs for the feet we got the sculpted in detail that is painted like a brown and it just looks really good there's some nice skis if you're going to have skis, you're going to have ski poles. The handles are sculpted. We got the little parts that would wrap around the wrist, but they're more sculpted in a flowing motion. All cast in that black plastic, and we got the bottom sculpted pretty nicely, and they're painted silver. When it comes to the skis and the ski poles, they work really well. They stay in the hands. Nothing's feeling floppy like it's going to fall off or anything like that. You just have him just speed skiing around. I know my Dio is not really the ideal spot to be skiing and stuff because there's no snow but you can have a lot of fun with this figure especially during winter winter time or if you have any uh like snow dios or anything like that but this figure is is just fun snow job all geared up with his snowshoes on tracking down somebody or just looking awesome i really like the snowshoes now keep in mind if you try to get the tips of the toes to bend a little bit uh the back of the heel wants to pop out when it comes to firepower, Snow Job does come with a pistol. Pistol looks pretty good. Cast it in black. It's got some sculpt work in there. Got the hole for a muzzle effect if you have them. And uh, just looks like a pretty cool pistol. Here we have Snow Job's primary weapon, and it is his sniper rifle. It's casted in black plastic, sculpted really nicely. We got some brown accents. 
to it with some of the pieces on it are painted brown. We got the nice scope. We do have a muzzle flash hole so you can put some effects in there. We get a really nice looking magazine and the magazine, pop it out. We do have a bullet sculpted in the magazine looking really nice. And a lot of people have been complaining that the barrel's been warped and this and that. This figure is made for four and older. That's why some of the plastic for the weaponry is droopy and gummy because it's for four-year-old kids and up. But the great thing about this weaponry and the figure itself is once you put this into his backpack, into his rifle carrying case, it actually sort of straightens it out. Yes, my barrel was a little bit warped, but I put it into the bag and it sort of straightened it out. One thing that is great about this figure is that he comes with the backpack that stores all his gears. We got the snowshoes at the bottom, the skis slide in on the side. We got the ski poles that clip in and then his rifle slides into the gun holster or his carrying rifle case, which it's uh, sticking out a little bit, but I guess it's quick access to it, but still a nice chunk of, uh, it's, it's a nice amount of plastic if you look at it. It's almost as uh, thick as a figure. Like look at all this stuff. Here we have up close look at Snow Job and this figure looks awesome. Add the goggles in, and it reminds me of those funny PSAs that people uh, redid of the original G.I. Joe PSAs. Hey, what the fuck are you kids doing on my fucking lawn? And don't look at me when I'm fucking talking to you. That kid off my eyes, you little wankers. All right, give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Do you know my dad? Oh. Those PSAs are just funny as can be. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and Google G.I. Joe PSAs, parodies, or whatever, but they're they're funny. They're funny. Um, so the hood looks really good. We went over that. The strapping looks good. Could use a wash, but, I mean, it's a lot of sculpted in detail that I feel it could be brought out with a little bit of a wash. Pouches and everything. This It's a really nice figure. Uh, we got the pinless joints. Uh, the only thing I'd say, careful when you're articulating the figure. You even got a silver silver painted buckle. Be careful of articulating. If you're going to articulate it, grab it by the shoulder. Because I could see these starting to, you know, gap on people or something. I could see that being an issue. And then also when you're moving the elbow, try to grab it towards here. Because for some reason they got this, like, cut here. I thought it would be like a bicep swivel or something like that. But I think it's just they, how they attached it. And if you are cranking on the arm by grabbing hold of it down here, you're going to cause this to start gapping. So you want to grab it right above and then crank it. So that's one of the things you got to watch out for for this figure. And uh, again, they did a really good job. Even with this jacket, the holster, even it's all in that Tootsie Roll brown. But I mean, it looks, looks good. It looks really good. We got his little snow boots. Got a little hair there. What the heck is stuck to it? Got some factory hair stuck to it. That was in the plastic. So, nice little sh show, uh, show boots. <laughs> snow boots. And uh, just an overall nice looking figure from top to bottom. It is Snow Job. For all you Snow Job fans and wanting that OG style Snow Job, I mean, you can't get better than this. Now, diving into articulation, I left the hood up. You know the head and the neck and everything is your typical G.I. Joe style head, so you're going to get that type of movement. But with the hood on, you still get some nice range of motion out of it. So you can even, you know, while the hood's on, make them look up. You can make it look up, and this will gap up a little bit. But, you know, you still get some motion out of the head. We get the arms. Grab it up here so you don't mess that bicep. Swivel up. Speaking of biceps, well, we got it right there. Double jointed, double jointed pinless elbows. And I think this is one that's sort of stuck. So I'll use it, do it, show it on this one. So you get a nice range. And again, I'm grabbing it down here. Nice range of motion, wrist rotation, and it's a vertical grip on both hands. Uh, ab crunch, to get it up at the top, it's that hula hoop. So you get some bend down here, some lean back, really nice lean back action. And then we got the hula hoop at the waist too. 
So nice, nice natural feeling like movement when you're doing the crunches. So you can really get him, I mean, I guess not horribly crunched down. He's wearing snowsuit, but crunched down, gaps at the bottom a little bit. And then when you do the back, you know, he can lean back a lot farther. A little bit of gappage. You could do full Van Dam because it pushes up this little skirt. <laughs> pushes it up. Thigh cuts. Drop down hips. Can do full on kick. Double jointed knee. Which works really nice. Do we have ankle? Yeah, we get ankle movement here. And bend and pivot. To get boot cut in there. When it comes to snow job, it is a solid release from Hasbro. The only issues I have with it are the weird little cuts on the biceps and being careful with the bicep swivel area when you're lifting up the arms. But other than that, this figure is great. It is a solid deluxe release and I couldn't be happier. This figure is just so fun to pose around and play around with. It is awesome. And that sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Snow Job. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit that like button. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video and when I go live for State of the Art every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. So come hang out, talk figures with me. And I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a beautiful day.